Anytime someone asks about our story, I laugh because when I first met you, I never would have guessed that we would end up together. Each time I'm asked makes me more excited to explain how the same boy that trembled while holding my hand for the first time was becoming my husband. Our story is one of how messy and broken became beautiful. How beautiful is it that we're standing here in this moment because it was God's will. God handpicked each of us to be together, completing one another, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Wherever you to get here has been normal would be far from the truth. These past five years have been crazy. We haven't been taking life slow by any means, but throughout all the constant changes and ups and downs, one thing has been the same, and that's my love for you. Today I am marrying someone who may be the most supportive, positive, and kind person I know. When I marry you today, not only am I gaining a lifelong partner, but I'm gaining a whole new family as well, one that raised you to be the person that I fell in love with. Two brothers who've looked out for you, a sister who stood by your side, a sister-in-law with a huge heart, and a niece and nephew whose cuteness is as equal to their honoriness, all of whom love you as much as I do. phone call I received from your mom the night you were born. After I answered, there was a, just a very soft, I got my girl. Chapman, there's no doubt in my mind that Tracy would agree with me that you are just the right person for Callie. And now you've got our girl. And we know that you will treat her with the TLC she deserves. Callie, do you take Chapman to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others and holding only on to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Chapman, do you take Callie to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others and holding on to her as long as you both shall live? I do. And now, it is my honor and delight to declare you married. Go forth and live each day to the fullest. Chapman, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Chapman and Callie Shanefeld. to be your best man. Knowing you all these years, I've never seen you this happy, and I know it's because you have found the love of your life. For as long as I've known Callie, she has been such a blessing in all our lives. She is one of the most loving, caring, and down-to-earth people I've ever met. For each of us, four kids, hope to find the kind of beautiful and selfless love that our parents had. So I found a few cards that my mother wrote my father to just kind of give you an idea of the kind of love that she had for him. So many things about you that make you the best friend I've ever had and the only one I'll ever love. I hope you will always remember how much I truly love you. The, the best thing I've ever done was marry you. Love your wife. And that's what I really want them to experience today. What I truly want them to feel in 20 years, in 30 years, that that's their main constant. That's their true love, and that that was the best thing they ever did was marry each other that day.
could only imagine how proud your mom must be of you. Chapman and I never got to meet your mom, but I think he would agree with me in saying that we can see how great she must have been by seeing how she raised you and your siblings. You are the most compassionate person I have ever met. I'll never understand why losing her had to be a part of your story, Cal. But I have seen God's plan for your life unfold in so many beautiful ways.